was a sight for my soul. I, All right, so we got a question. Actually, something came up regarding the MEC limit. All right, so the question really is, is it important to know where my MEC limit is? The answer obviously is yes, but a more important question is what happens if I go over my MEC limit? If I violate that, am I done forever? All right, because we may have heard once you trigger a MEC, the life insurance policy is a MEC, we cannot reverse it. Right? If it's been a mech for a while, that's the case. So should we panic if we accidentally go over our mech limit? Here's the answer. Right? Let's assume I've got a mech limit of $30,000 and I pay in $35,000 over the course of the year. That's $5,000 more than the IRS allowed me to pay into my life insurance policy. The tax-free tax provision is now out the window. No need to panic, right? If we trigger a MEC on a life insurance policy, a lot of people are not aware of this, we actually often have 30 days in which we can just let the company know, we can call them up. Sometimes they require a, a written request, which can be an email from the policyholder. Hey, I went over my MEC limit by accident. Please reverse the transaction. And guess what happens? The amount we went over they send to us via a refund, they reverse the MEC transaction, and our policy is back to being a life insurance policy with the tax-free benefits. So if we trigger a MEC, one, we will get notified, the agent or the advisor on the policy should also be notified, and we can reverse it. So no need to panic, just make sure we're on top of things. Hope this helps.